Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make an organic herbal toothpaste. Let me show you the product we're going to be making, and then I'll show you how to put the formula together. So that's the organic herbal toothpaste there. As you can see, it's got a fantastic structure. It sits on the brush nicely. It doesn't sink into the brush, ready to be applied. Now to put this product together, we do first need to reconstitute some concentrated aloe vera powder in water. Now I'm going to gel my reconstituted aloe vera juice and it's really important I gel that using the right gelling agents so that I get a nice sturdy structure on the brush and also as you saw when it came out from the toothpaste tube it wasn't clumpy, it wasn't gluey, it wasn't string like, it simply applied to the brush ready for use. Now to do that we need to use some cellulose, the microcrystalline cellulose helps give that great detachment when it's being squeezed from the tube. I'm using the SensorCell Stab 026N because it's natural and it will suit the organic needs of the formulation. That's here. And I'm also combining that with some guar gum. And again, the guar gum is going to help build the structure. So I'm getting the great even spread on the brush from my microcrystalline cellulose and I'm getting some of that rigidity that stays on the brush from my guar gum. Now I'm just going to high shear this all together. Now don't worry if your gel is quite thick and pasty at this point, it will thin down in a moment with our next additions. But it is important to make sure it's nice and homogenous at this stage before continuing. Now the rest of your mixing will be low shear, so I'm just going to transfer it to this bowl. Now I'm going to mix some cellulose and again the same inky name, cellulose. This is Sensor Cell Dental P30C. If you're confused by the different grades of cellulose, please watch my video, same inky different result, which talks you through the different grades of cellulose. Now this particular cellulose I'm using because it provides that nice, fine, polishing, abrasive effect to the teeth and I'm mixing this with some sorbitol. Now the sorbitol is really important because it helps provide that nice soft mouth feel that consumers are used to with their toothpaste and it also helps provide just a little bit of natural sweetness to the formula. I'm just gonna make a slurry with these materials. Now I don't wanna use high shear at this point because I don't want to shear this cellulose. I need high shear for my microcrystalline cellulose to hydrate it and form my gel network. But for this particular cellulose, because I want it to provide that polishing effect, I don't want to cut this with high shear. So from here on in, I need to use low shear mixing only. I'm going to add this to my formula. and then give it a good stir until it's homogenous. Now to this I'm going to add some cocoa glucoside. Now I do need a little bit of foaming action from my toothpaste. This helps with cleaning and also consumers are very used to just a little bit of foam in their toothpaste. Um, and again, provides that nice polishing effect from the cellulose. Now 
Next, I'm going to add my preservative. Now to keep this product nice and natural and of course certifiable, I'm using Sali Naturals Min as my preservative. This gives it a real herbal flavor, so I'm going to disguise some of that herbal flavor with some organic spearmint oil. And again, that adds to the freshness of the product. Now I'm just going to check and adjust pH. And in this case, it's come out exactly where I need it to. And there is my organic herbal toothpaste. Now don't worry if you've got just a couple of little lumps in the product, it is best to let it rest overnight and then give it a final stir before packing off. By the next day, it will become a beautifully smooth gel form. And again, it's got all that structure you need to be able to apply it easily to a toothbrush and it will stand on its own. Well, there you go. That's how to create an organic herbal toothpaste. Just remember you need to use very distinct grades of cellulose to achieve the gelling and the polishing functions, as well as a little bit of surfactant for the foaming. And of course, if certifying the product, make sure you stick to the compositional inputs that I have provided with this formula. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please have any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all my videos. Happy formulating.